All right, folks, so today we've got another quick unboxing and setup video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new EverDrive 64X5 from Crix. So starting off, you can see here we've got the standard EverDrive box, which Crix uses for pretty much all of his EverDrives, just a plain black box with the uh, EverDrive logo and Crix's website on there. Other than that, pretty nondescript. So opening up the box there, you can see the EverDrive 64X5. And obviously it looks very similar to the EverDrive 64 2.5, which this is replacing. So let's pop it out of this plastic bag real quick. And we'll take a closer look. So right here you can see that this looks just like a standard Nintendo 64 cartridge, just like you'd expect. has a really nice matte finish to the label there. But again, this looks almost exactly like the EverDrive 64X7 and the 2.5. So not many changes there. On the bottom there you can just see the pins. All pretty standard fare. On the back there. Just a standard sticker with uh, Crix's logo and some cautions. And obviously the cartridge here is held together by Torx screws. So if you do want to get into the cartridge itself, you just need a Torx head screwdriver to get into that. So pretty straightforward. And then taking a look on the right side of the cartridge, you can see the micro SD card slot. So let's grab my micro SD card here real quick and I'll show you how that works. So all we need to do is push the micro SD card in until it clicks. And then that's in place. So if you've seen an EverDrive 64 before, um, really not too many changes in the design, especially from the most recent models. But let's head over to the computer real quick and we'll get this all set up and running. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is format your SD card to FAT32. And to do that, I'm going to use GUI format. So I'll leave a link below in the description where you can find that software. The process is super straightforward. All we need to do is start the software up with the SD card in your PC. Then just double check that the software is picking up the correct drive. So mine is drive E. So that's correct. If you want to name the card, you can. Um, I'm just going to name mine N64. So you just type that into volume label. Check the quick format checkbox if it's not already checked. Hit start. It's going to ask you if you really want to format the SD card and warn you that all the data is going to be lost. Again, double check that it's pointing at the right drive and then hit OK. Just hit the close button. All right, so now we've got the SD card formatted to FAT32. We just need the operating system software for the EverDrive. So we're going to head over to Crix's website here and I usually go through the EverDrive store and then select the downloads tab. So within the downloads tab select the EverDrive 64 folder and then within that you want to select the X series folder. Within the X series folder you want to select the OS subfolder And then you can grab any version of the firmware that you like. I'm just going to grab the latest one, which is version 3.05 at this point. So download that zip folder. And then once that's done, head into wherever your download saved to. So mine's just in my downloads folder here. Double click on the zip file. And then within that, you'll see a folder named ED64. So what we're going to do is just click on that and drag that over to the SD card, which will decompress it. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing you need to do is add games. Now, if you want to keep your games in folders, you can do. I'm going to set mine up just in a folder called games. So we're going to right click in the root of the SD card, select new folder. And then I'm going to rename that games. And this is where you would add the games to. And like I say, you don't have to create a folder for these. You can just drop all your games on the root of the SD card. But I kind of like using the folders myself just to keep everything organized. So I do have one game here on my desktop that's Cruising USA. So I'm just going to click and drag that over into the games folder. 
And then as soon as everything is done copying over, I'm going to take the SD card out, drop it into the EverDrive 64 and plug that into my N64. So let's head over to the N64 and we'll take a look and see how all of this works. So the first time I booted this up, I got this warning screen that said that all the settings have been reset to default. That's fine. Just press any key to continue. And it takes you to the main menu. So obviously you can see there we've got two folders. We've got the ED64, which is the operating system on all the files that we downloaded. And then we have the games folder. But I did want to take a quick look before we got into looking at the, how the games run at the options. So if you press the Z button, it'll bring up the main menu. And you can see here there's a bunch of different things you can do. So let's take a look through here real quick. So here in the options menu, you've got a couple of different things that you can turn on and off. This includes the backgrounds, cheats, the auto patching. Um, and the one feature that I am going to change on mine is hiding the system directory. So what that's going to do is just hide the ED64 folder on my main screen. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to keep it tidy. Okay, so back on the main menu, other things we can do. You've got the random game option, which will literally load a random game. You've got the cheats menu. This is where you would go to input your GameShark cheat codes. You've got a control pack manager. Now I don't have a control pack in my controller, but if I was using one, then I'd be able to transfer files back and forth from the SD card to the control pack and vice versa. There's device info, which gives you literally the device information. So serial number, build date, firmware, and other types of information like that. You've got a diagnostics check, which I thought was kind of neat. So I thought I'd run that real fast. It looks almost like an arcade boot sequence, which is kind of neat. And then there's also an about page, which just gives you a rundown of the controls and Crix's website. So nothing too spectacular there. All right, so let's head back to the home page. And here you can see I just have the games folder showing because we did change the options for the system directory to be hidden. So you don't see that anymore. So we're going to hit the A button to open the games folder. And once again, which will bring up the file menu. So I'm just going to hit A again to start the game. But if you wanted to, you could go into the individual cheats to turn those on and off or enter cheat codes. You can also look at the ROM information, the hex view, or delete the file itself. So again, just hit the A button there to start. And we're straight into the game. Super easy. So that's the setup of the EverDrive 64 X5 from Crix. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.